All right, Muscle and Strength, this is IPB Pro in Bellier here. We're at Sobeys, just a local grocery store. We're gonna get some groceries. You guys can see what I get on a weekly basis here. So the first section here, obviously, we're gonna come into will be like fruits, vegetables. So, I mean, I'm not, you guys watch a couple of my meals. The only really vegetables I really eat would be asparagus. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do like a salad instead, uh, but usually I just stick to asparagus. I find it goes well, tastes good, you know, easy to prepare. I'll just microwave it with some water, just kind of boil it quick. Um, I usually find that the easiest to do, so. I usually try and find the ones that are the skinnier stocks, but not like too skinny. I don't know if anyone's ever bought asparagus at Costco and they're like the size of your thumb around. I'm not into that at all. So like, yeah, I mean, like those, that's a good set there. I just find that they cook a little better. You get them too thick, they start to get kind of sinewy and they don't cook too good. So we'll grab two of those. That'll last me a couple days. Yeah, I think asparagus does kind of a natural diuretic effect to it. I mean, are you gonna eat a bunch of asparagus and all of a sudden be like show dry and ready to step on stage? No, but um, you know, definitely in peak week, it's something that's a staple in really all my meals. So. Um, you know, once we start doing like water loading and stuff like that, or water manipulation, I really incorporate, you know, kind of like 60 to 80 grams of asparagus every meal. Um, you know, whether it's making a gigantic difference or not, hard to say, but I mean, every little bit helps at that point. So, I mean, why not eat it if it, you know, anecdotally could help, right? So here we're just gonna grab some sweet potatoes, ones that aren't too weird a shape, because you end up like cutting off these like little knobbies, they're useless. So, you know, try and get ones that are kind of a bit more normal shape. So I have one meal a day that's uh, with potato in it. So my fourth meal of the day, um, I have some flank steak and I have potato with that, or chicken and potato, depending kind of what, when I train, I'll kind of switch what time I have what. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have some of that with one meal. We'll just get like two or three of these. Like I said, I usually, chicken's usually my staple, but sometimes I'll work in a little bit of ground turkey here and there just for some variety. Uh, and then we'll grab some chicken here, just regular breasts. I mean, these are what, a kilo each, so I'll grab a bunch of these. I'll grab a couple of those. So this is what I eat my last meal, so I usually have salmon for the last one. So I'll do salmon with the asparagus. Uh, so I only have this once a day. These ones look pretty nice. I, I bake it usually. I mean, I, I have an air fryer, and if you cut it into you know smaller chunks and do it in the air fryer, it's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, I usually bake it. I mean, it's just easier because you can pull out a full thing like this, toss two of those in the oven, you know, throw some seasoning on it, and I find that's pretty easy to do. So usually I'll do it like that. All right, here we'll grab eggs so right now i'm only eating one a day so i mean i can just grab one carton that'll last me a while so these are the mega three eggs these are the ones i usually get um i got one egg once a day that's all i have i mean usually i'll have more than that but i mean fats will be one of the first things we'll cut down you know because they're so calorically dense right so we start cutting those out a little bit um, you know, that's a good way to bring down calories without taking a lot of volume of food away. So that's usually the first thing we'll, we'll go, so. Uh, Condiment wise, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw a couple ones I use. Sriracha, always a staple, you know, good. I like some heat to my food, so I usually add a bit of this. Uh, and then the other one I get here is the sweet and spicy. Yeah, this on chicken is my favorite. I know there's a lot of bodybuilders, especially around here in Canada where we sell this. I don't know if you guys, you guys have a similar one, I think in the US, but. Um, but this is popular with a lot of bodybuilders I know I see. I, th I think I saw this from Ant Antoine or one of these guys who was using it. Some soy sauce here. Uh, you guys saw I do this in my breakfast with the whole eggs and the rice and the chicken. Just kind of make it like a, you know, stir fry, fried rice kind of thing because you got a bit of egg in there. Uh, if I can find the Kikomin one, that's the good one. It's the one you want. I don't know if they got, here we go. Take them in soy sauce. And this is the normal sodium one. I had the low sodium at home just because I think that's all they had last time I was here. But. And then rice here. So this is the jasmine rice. So this is the one I usually use to get the big bag. And I don't know what this is, eight kilos or something? Yeah, eight kilos. 
toss one of those. That's the jasmine, but I mean, like, there's lots of other good kinds. I mean, you know, I, I know a lot of guys eat actually the sushi rice because it's really sticky. And I mean, you can eat tons of carbs really easily if you use the sushi rice. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of brown rice. I find a lot of, that gives a lot of people digestive distress, so I kind of stay away from that. Um, you know, but there's a million other ways to get fiber in your diet without fucking your stomach up. So I think that's the best way to go. So now we're down the, the no-go aisle, but if, if it was a, an off-season day, I'd surely be grabbing a bag of Doritos. I really like these guys. They're pretty hot. Or just like for the old school nacho cheese. I like those too. But I mean, honestly, I would destroy one of these in a sitting, no problem. So those are good. Another one I really like too. I don't know if you guys, do you guys have these new US Sun Chips? Yeah. yeah, you got those? Sun Chips are awesome. The Harvest Cheddar, I really like those. Anyone that's like cheesy chips like that, I really like. Yeah, I'm not into like the, you know, the more like Lay's or like, you know, potato chip kind of ones. I wouldn't really go for those usually, but, but yeah, no, I like the, the cheesy, like, you know, tortilla more chips like that. All right guys, so that's my grocery run. You know, hope you guys learned something today and be sure to subscribe below.